Scoring 35 points per game in the NBA season is a rare feat achieved by only the most elite players in NBA history. In this video, we count down the only six players who reached this incredible milestone from legendary icons to modern day superstars. These athletes redefine what it means to dominate the game. We've seen some 70 point performances in the season, we've seen 60 point performances, but to average 35 points per game, you gotta be among the greatest. First on the list, we got James. Harden. In 2018-2019 season, James Harden put the entire league on notice. The beer wasn't just scoring, he was dominating. Averaging an unbelievable 36.1 points per game, Harden led the league in scoring, making it one of the most iconic offensive seasons in NBA history. This was the season where James Harden redefined the auto scoring. His signature step back three became the move in the league, frustrating defenders and sending fans in frenzies. And on January 23rd, 2019, Master Scrub Harden, the basketball mecca on this night, Harden looked the Garden with 61 points, tying Kobe Brown for the most points ever scored by a visiting player in the Garden. He was unstoppable, hitting D3, slicing through the defenders, showing why he was a walking bucket. But Harden's season wasn't just about numbers, it was about moments. Remember this? The crossover heard around the world? Y'all already know about this crossover. Wesley Johnson didn't just get crossed. Harden made sure he stared him down before casually draining a three. It wasn't just a highlight, it was a viral sensation. From NBA fans to celebrities, everyone was talking about this moment. This crossover instantly cemented Harden as one of the most feared one-on-one -on -one players in the league. And during this season, Harden embarked on an insane streak, scoring 30 or more points in 32 straight games. The only player with a longer streak is Wilt Chamberlain. Harden had become a modern-day scoring machine keeping the Houston Rockets afloat despite injuries to key players. It didn't matter though who was in front of him. Double teams, traps, zone defenses, Harden still found a way to get buckets. And as the street grew, so did his legend. But it wasn't just his own court heroes that made Harden a star. His fashion choice, I mean bro, from flamboyant fits to flashy accessories, kept him far off the court as well. And though it all, Harden stayed humble, using his platform for good, from jaw dropping performances to viral moments that took the internet by storm. Harden solidified his place as one of the most iconic players in NBA history. Next on the list is Kobe Bean Bryant, the Mamba. The year was 2005 2016. Kobe Bryant, already a three-time champion, took his game to an entire new level. He averaged 35.4 points per game. Kobe delivered one of the most prolific scoring seasons in NBA history. This wasn't just about numbers. It was about willpower, determination, and a mama mentality that left the world in awe. In one of the most epic moments during the season, Kobe Bryant did something thankful. In a game against the Toronto Raptors, Kobe exploded for 81 points, the second highest score game in NBA history. Kobe didn't just put up a scoring clinic, he entered Legend status. I'm talking about legend status. From deep threes to impossible fadeaways, everything he put up seemed to fall. This wasn't just a game, it was an immortal performance that the internet would never forget. But just a month earlier, before the 81 point game, Kobe dropped 62 points against the Dallas Mavericks. But here's the kicker. He did it in just three quarters. Kobe outscored the entire Mavericks team by himself, 62 to 61 in three quarters. It was pure dominance. Fans couldn't believe what they were saying. The viral moment sparked a debate. Could Kobe have gone for 80 that night? Well, never know. But the legend of Kobe scoring powers grew even larger. Up next, we probably got one of the greatest of all time. In an 86-87 season, Michael Jordan delivered a performance for the ages, averaging an incredible 37.1 points per game. At just 24 years old, Jordan didn't just score, he dominated. His legendary ability to take over games made him the most electrifying player in basketball. It wasn't just the sure numbers though, like no. It was the way Jordan played with great power and an unshakable determination that would come to define his entire career. This also was the same season Jordan won his first scoring title, but it wasn't just his points that captured the world's attention. He also made his mark with one of the most iconic moments in NBA history, the slam dunk contest. With a single leap from the free throw line, Jordan didn't just win the contest, he transcended the game. That image of him soaring through the air became the defining image of athletic greatness and soon turned viral as posters, commercials, and more. But Michael Jordan's influence wasn't limited to the hardwood though. You know, in 1985, he partnered with Nike to create Air Jordan, a sneaker line that would become a cultural phenomenon. The first pair of Air, the first pair of Air Jordan ones was so iconic that it got banned by the NBA for breaking uniform rules. That being only fueled the hype, making the sneakers even more viral. Suddenly, everyone wanted to be like Mike. Jordan wasn't just a basketball player, he became a brand. The Earth Jordan line turned to a movement that went far beyond sports. To this day, the iconic Jumpman logo is one of the most recognizable symbols worldwide. 
But as Jordan's legend continued to go, he took his influence to new heights. This time on a silver screen. In 1996, Jordan starred in Space Jam, an animated film that brought him to face to face with Bugs Bunny and Looney Tunes. Space Jam wasn't just a movie though, it was a pop culture moment. The combination of Jordan basketball skills and Hollywood magic made the film an instant hit. He became one of the most beloved sports films of all time and created a viral crossover between sports and entertainment. But Michael Jordan's 37 points per game season was unforgettable. But his viral off the court moments, his Air Jordan Space Jam, the Be Like Mike campaign, those made him more than just a basketball player. They made him a global icon, a legend whose influence continues to grow even after his final game. Down to the last two on the list, man. If y'all want to do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, and let me know in the comments if y'all want to see more videos like this, man. That would be highly appreciated. And next up, we got Elgin Baylor. In the 61-62 season, Elgin Baylor put on a strong clinic, averaging 38.3 points a game. Playing for the Los Angeles Lakers, Baylor changed the game with his smooth, explosive style, blending finesse and power like never before. But Baylor wasn't just a scorer, just like all the other players. He was a pioneer, bringing an acrobatic element to basketball that had never been seen. Despite only playing 48 games that season due to military services, Baylor's dominance remains unmatched. But what actually made Baylor's 38 points per game season even more astonishing was that he was balancing basketball with the add of military duty. Baylor spent weekdays serving in the Army Reserves and would fly in on weekends to play games, sometimes without any practice. Baylor's ability to juggle two to many roles made him a viral story. Even in his era without social media, his dedication became legendary, inspiring both fans and fellow athletes. But it gets crazy. Off the court, Elgin Baylor made headlines in 1959 for his stand against segregation. When the Lakers were denied service at a hotel in Charleston, West Virginia because of their black players, Baylor refused to play. His protest against racial injustice sent shockwaves through the sports world. This courageous stand became a viral moment of his time, and Baylor's activism helped pave the way for the future athletes' protests, making him a civil rights pioneer in addition to a basketball legend. But after his playing days, Baylor impact continued. He became the general manager of the LA Clippers, earning executive of the year on the 2006. His leadership off the court was another viral chapter in his story, proving his basketball mind was just as sharp in front office as it was on the hardwood. Elgin Baylor's 38 points per game season remains one of the most prolific NBA in NBA history. But his influence off the court, whether through his fight for civil whether through his fight for civil rights or his leadership in the front office made him more than just a basketball player. It was a trailblazing and activist and an symbol of excellence in every facet of life. But look, next up we got Rick Barry. In the 66-67 NBA season, Rick Barry set the league on fire, averaging in 37.4 points per game, leading the Warriors. Barry's ability to score anyone on the court, coupled with his fierce competitiveness, made him one of the most electrifying players in the game. But it wasn't just you know, his points, as they would say. Rick's very sharp shooting and relentless style made him an unforgettable force on the court. His 37 points per game remains one of the greatest individual scoring feats in NBA history. One of Barry's most viral moments was his orthodox yet deadly, I'm talking about deadly underhand free throw. It may have looked odd, but it was highly effective. Barry became one of the best free throw shooters of all time with this method, hitting over 90% of his free throws. Barry's underhand shot sparked curiosity and debates, making him an icon, not just for his scoring, but revolutionizing free throw shooting. Off the court, Barry's most viral moment came when he made a controversial jump from the NBA to the NBA in 1967, igniting legal battles that grabbed headlines across the sports world. Barry left the NBA San Francisco Warriors to join the Oakland Oaks of the ABA, shaking up the basketball landscape. His decision made him one of the first players to challenge the league system and was a move that both shocked and inspired over other athletes to take control of their careers. Barry's influence extended beyond his own career. His basketball legacy carried on through his four sons, all of whom played professional basketball. His son, Brent Barry, also won a dunk contest and he dunked from the free throw line, which is crazy which made a family a true basketball dynasty. Through his family with Barry impacting on the game, stay viral and showing his name would be synonymous with greatness across generations. Rick Barry's 37 points per game season was legendary, but his off-court moments, from his free throw innovations to his legal battles in his family dynasty, ensured that his legacy was more than just points on the scoreboard. Barry's name became forever linked with basketball, both on and off the court. Last but not least, man, Will Chamberlain, man, look, but Will averaged over 35 points a couple times. But we're gonna talk about the main season where he averaged 50.4 points a game playing for the Philadelphia Warriors. Will shattered every scoring record, turning basketball into a spectacle. I'm talking about, he made basketball what everybody wanted to see. No one, no one has seen dominance like this before. Chamberlain's size, strength, and skill made him a force of nature on the court. 
His 50 points per game season remains one of the most untouchable records in sports history. And during this legendary season that will deliver the ultimate viral moment, scoring 100 points in a single game. It was March 2nd, 1962 in Herschel, Pennsylvania. No television, no cameras, no live broadcast, yet this moment became the stuff of legend. As stories of Chamberlain's feet spread like wildfire, the photo of Wilk holding a simple piece of paper with a hundred scribbled on it became one of the most iconic images in sports history, turning Wilk into an untouchable legend. Off the court, Wilk's life was just as legendary though. Like, legendary. Known for his <laughs> extravagant lifestyle, Wilk rubbed shoulders with celebrities, athletes, and politicians. Living the life of a superstar, whether they were driving luxury cars, attending Hollywood parties, or simply standing out with his towering presence, Wilt was larger than life. He didn't just stick to basketball, Wilt became a media icon, regularly appearing on talk shows, grazing magazines, covers, and charming audiences with his sharp wit and charismatic. In 1991, though, Wilt made headlines again with his autobiography, A View Above the Rim, in which he controversially claimed to have slept with 20,000 women. This book caused media frenzy, dominating headlines and talk shows and adding to the myth surrounding his off the court life. Wilt's personal life became just as much as a topic of discussion as his basketball prowess. Whether people believed him or not, the story added another layer to Wilt's already towering legacy. It's true. But Wilt's impact went far beyond basketball. He excelled in a lot of sports. He was an athlete. He ran track. He did volleyball. He promoted fitness and healthy living. He was more, he was more than a basketball player, bro. He was more than a basketball player. He was a symbol of versatility and success in all aspects of life. Thank you for watching. If you mentioned in the video, like, comment, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what other video ideas you want me to make. And I got y'all, but I'm going to see y'all in the next one, man.